Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Room Beach video. In today's video, guys, I could not be more excited. We have just a few days before Warships is upon us, and we have sneak peeks coming around this weekend. Uh, so make sure you stay subscribed to the channel for that. And <coughs> man, we got some big news. We got some big news. We had uh, the season title, which is a good one. Snow more fun. Who knows what that means? Um, and if you guys want to stay up to date and everything, make sure you subscribe. I, I had to do my intro like four times, so I apologize if I already said that. Um, here's what it is. Without further ado, bang. Look at that. Nuno Susu. If you guys don't know who this is, community manager for Boom Beach. Uh, so he tweeted this out yesterday, and he said, we're about to have something new next Warship season. And it's confirmed that it is not a prototype or something. Actually, I forget what he said. But... That's really exciting. We have something new. That's all we want. That's all we want. We got something new. Um, season 42, man, I think it's going to be a banger. I think it's going to be everything that we want. I think it's going to be a clean tech tree. I think it's going to be, you know, some new stuff that we can play around with and work towards. Um, so I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited for this season. And also I have that full day off, the day of the launch. So it doesn't get any better as far as the chicken's concerned. So, uh, of course... You know, with something new, typically comes a lot of bugs, so I'm hoping that that gets worked out. But um, but yeah, so before we even get into the video, I want you guys to let me know, what do you think this could be? Now, we've already had, last season, we had the Laser Rangers, and we had the, um, what was the other thing? These guys, the Critter Launchers, the Critter Launchers. So hopefully we don't see these guys back until they fix that bug, but... Um, it kind of has me thinking. It kind of has me thinking. Oh, we got gear hurt. Uh, it kind of has me thinking. So I can't imagine that they would do back-to-back -back seasons with new troops or back-to-back -back seasons with new defense buildings. So what I'm thinking, what I'm guessing, don't know yet, um, is it's going to be a new way of multi-choice nodes or something like that, a new tech tree kind of style. That's what I would be excited to see. Um, now, whether that is, you know, what we've been requesting forever is they put building health, troop damage, troop health, and troop damage in some sort of multi-node, um, that would be cool. Or just having different uh, swapping abilities uh, at all. I think that would be super interesting as well. Um, so that's my guess. That's my hunch is it's going to be something to do with the tech tree, and it's going to be something that we've never seen before at the same time, right? So... Let's just keep these guys shocked and those guys shocked. Then we should be looking okie dokie. Shock here, shock here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards is it's not necessarily a gameplay thing that's changing, but it's more of a tech tree thing that's changing. And I would be super excited, stoked, if that was actually to be the case. Um, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Can we get everybody back over here without dying? I'm not sure just yet. Um, let's see. Man, those laser ladies, they are doing some work. Let's give them another health pack. They're doing such a good job. Um, let's go critters down here. But yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be interesting nonetheless. And again, something new, something that we can break down is what we always talk about, right? Um, just as long as it's not, you know, I don't want to sound annoying, but... Just as long as it's not broken, because then it's not fun and it, uh, you know, does more harm than good. So let's get over here next. Uh, I'm going to shock over there, actually, even though it's a lot of GB. Ooh, that laser is still up. Whoops. Totally missed that one. Uh, that laser will probably one-shot the other lasers, I would imagine. Let's see. No, but it's extremely close. It is extremely close. This is going to hurt. Watch this. Oh, my God. That's why the lasers can uh, can be so devastating if you're not paying attention. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what my guess is, guys. Um, some sort of new choice node, new, uh, you know, something like that. I know we've been talking a little bit about that, so that would probably be kind of uh, hopeful. But I can't see them coming out with a new troop or a new defensive building already. That would be kind of crazy. But you never know. It is possible, I guess. But... Um, but yeah, regardless, I don't really care what it is as long as it comes out and it's not broken and it's not, 
you know, totally useless, like how the mechs used to be, and then they would name the season wreck with mech, and it was just like a big joke, and it's like, oh, mechs actually suck, and they don't wreck anything, but, um, but yeah, it has been confirmed, guys. It has been confirmed. We're about to have something new next Warship season, and just a few days before the launch. That gets me pumped up, so, yeah. <clears throat> It's always fun, you know, because Warships, is, it's it's all about just being competitive, right? So throwing new stuff in that nobody knows how to use when it's not the same old, same old. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I know how to go here and go here. Um, that's what makes it exciting because, in my opinion, that's where the real skill shows. When you don't – when you have a troop that you have to learn on the fly or you have a different something that you have to learn on the fly, that's when the best players really come to the top. Which, you know, typically they always do anyways, but, um, yeah. I just think it's more fun, if nothing else. Um, all right, let's go. Two, 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 two. One, two, one, two. Let me take out these rockets. They're going to be a bit of a pain. I think we need one more. Hopefully not two more. Maybe two more on the back one. Nope, okay, we're good. Let's go like that. I need me some med kits. Ouch. I guess they're all dying before we get a chance to medkit. What happened there? The mortars? Something shot over the top. Must have been that rocket. There's somehow a laser ranger shooting at that rocket, or there was for a second. Oh no, it's a laser going through the other way. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's move the tanks over here. Away from those boom cannons for a second. Take out this guy, and then we'll have a pretty easy cleanup after this. Um... Probably should have flared there, but whatever. Here we are. And boom. The Scorchers do a lot of damage when they blow up, eh? Wow. Alright, so we got a few uh, few critters here. Get some chews in. Hopefully Everspark can die before. Otherwise, it's going to be a long one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. You know, we always talk about it. Something new coming to Warships is always good and exciting. And, you know, uh, that's more or less why... Um, just something new to figure out, something new to play around with, and uh, hopefully it, it becomes, you know, a good thing to use, and we can throw it into either offense or defense, whatever it is, um, or a new way of doing the old stuff, right? Like a new, you know, flip the tech tree, tech tree upside down, give us building health and heavy choppers first. Probably a bad idea, but you know what I mean. Just something different is always fun. Um, okay, I'm going to retreat. This is going to take forever. And let's reload our laser ladies. And see what uh, what we can come up with here. So what are you guys using on War Factory these days? <clears throat> maybe we don't need Scorchers. Maybe we could go like 3-5 and take some Doodlers. But I don't know. The Laser Girls are new, so we might as well use them. Let's try to go all lasers on this one and see if we can't screw that up. Um, I accidentally brought a Scorcher out. That's all right. And we just got to watch those stupid mortars. They're so fast, though. I love how fast they are. One, two, that should be GG's right about there. And, yeah. Pretty cool looking, though. Pretty cool looking when they're all shooting like that. I love it. And, and, boom. War Factory goes down. Back, back, back. So, like I said, guys, let me know in the comments what you think this could mean. Either way, if it means something cool, if it doesn't, I'm excited just to see what it is. And uh, I hope that you guys are too. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if it's interesting, entertaining, or informative. We will catch you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.